Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're going to be talking about um, the main, one of the main questions I get asked all the time. Hey, Zeke, I came across $1,000. Hey, Zeke, I came across $10,000. If I came across $10,000, what should I invest into right now? What would you highly suggest that I invest into it right now? But before I answer that question, before I answer that question, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And also, we would like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Moomoo. Moomoo offers commission-free trading. If you guys click the link down in the description, sign up using that, deposit $100, you can receive up to 16 free stocks. Do not miss out on free stocks, guys. That is an opportunity. And right now, Moomoo is running a cash sweep inside of that platform. That means all the uninvested cash that you have will be gaining interest at 5.1% APY. So that means even if you do have cash inside their portfolio that you're waiting and you're not uh, actually investing inside the stock market, you can still be making money just from having money deposited inside of your account. So don't miss out on those free stocks in the 5.1% APY entries. This is one of the best promotions that they had in a while. And once you sign up with them, not only do you get free stocks, you also get commission free trading, access to tons of tools in there that you can use completely free, um, advanced charts, after hours trading, early markets trading. Guys, if you do want to have access to after market trading, Moo Moo might be your best bet to go to. So if you guys do want to sign up with them, remember if you do already have other investing platforms there it doesn't hurt you to have two um especially with this amazing offer that they have on the table during this month so if you guys do want to check out mumu that link is going to be down in the description but now let's get back to the question now, i'm going to answer it truthfully for you guys right hey z i came across ten thousand dollars what should i invest in it to you don't you don't invest that ten thousand dollars i'm telling you guys you just don't get hey i came across ten thousand dollars what did i invest into that's how you lose money you come across money and you throw it at the first thing that you see that is how you lose money people that take ten thousand dollars try out the stock market for the first time just throw it in there 80 percent of them lose 75 percent of them gonna lose they don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're investing into and the people that do win they got lucky if you want to gamble go to DraftKings. if you want to gamble go to a gambling website but if you want to make money strategically over time you don't just take ten thousand dollars a thousand dollars and just throw it inside the stock market because something looks good right now that is not what you do there's two things that you could do only two things that you could do that would actually be a smart move maybe three all right so the first thing that you could do is dollar cost average inside of the stock market what you do that you take uh, every single day or once a week or once a month you take the same amount of money and you invest it every single day or you take that same amount of money and you invest it one time a week or you take that same amount of money and you invest it one time a month so if it's either five hundred dollars a month that you want to invest or five hundred dollars a week that you want to invest you invest the same amount during the same period during the same time frame every period right that is called dollars cost averaging that way you're going to be buying some of the highs of the market and you're going to be buying some of the lows of the market so as you buy some of the highs you buy some of the lows it's kind of going to average out and statistics that shows that is by far one of the easiest strategies to do inside the stock market to where majority of the people that have been investing over the last 30 years that do dollar cost average has been winning having major gains inside the stock market by dollars cost averaging because they wasn't trying to guess when the bottom is or they didn't throw in ten thousand dollars at the top just imagine throwing in ten thousand dollars at the top of tesla right now you'll be broke Imagine throwing in $10,000 at the top of Netflix or at the top of Facebook or Meta. Right now, you'll be broke. And let's say if a company is pulling back and you say, hey, this company is undervalued right now. Let's just go in and throw $10,000 at this company. And you don't know anything about reading the charts and you don't know anything about the financials of this company. And that company is just going to continue to crash, crash, crash. Now you're even more broker. Yes, that is a word. But yeah, guys, you don't just come around $1,000. You don't just come around $10,000 and throw it inside the stock market. That's not what you do. You want to either dollar cost average or here's this, the strategy number two. Sit back, relax, and wait and be patient until your favorite companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Tesla, um, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamma, to your favorite companies, Nike, coca-cola pepsi until your favorite companies that you absolutely know and love pulls back to a price that is very comfortable 
paying for because the name of the game is buy low sell high you do not want to take ten thousand dollars and just buy at the high point or at the medium point you want to buy low at a fair value or at an undervalued price of these companies and then go inside the stock market and pick up a lump sum at the bottom you don't want to pick up a whole bunch of shares at the top guys so the second thing that you could do is sit back be patient and i'm going to show you guys in this video on hey i don't know when the market's pulling back hey i don't know when it's at the bottom or when it's a good time for me to value these companies i'm going to show you using moomoo Moo and their tools in this video today on exactly how to find that and but before we dive into it option three for the people that stay to the uh this part of the video i told you i was going to give you two points the little bonus point is to actually sit back and do research on smaller companies or research on other companies um learn every single thing about that company me it was amd i learned everything that was about amd their future products listen to the earnings call looking at her financials i learned well, i was making around 500 dollars a week maybe two thousand dollars a month i i said back i said hey i got about 200 dollars i can invest this month what is it going to be i'm not just going to throw it at anything i really fell in love with the company amd i've been investing to them since 2017 so i was buying them at nine dollars ten dollars a share now they're all the way up to 60 70 80 90 dollars um over a hundred dollars at the high point at one time so yeah, that's another thing that you could do is find a company that you love, learn everything about them. And if you truly believe in them, you could take a risk since you're already gambling with your $10,000. Let's go ahead and pull up Moomoo. Moo. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tip, a quick little trick that can show you how to kind of show you when is a good time to kind of like buy into these stocks so you're just not throwing money inside the market at random occasions welcome back dreamers okay one of the easiest things that you do is you could find your favorite companies and set alerts let me show you guys how to do that here we are move move we're going to click the search icon at the top and then let's just type in one of my favorite companies amd click that and right here this is amd over the last couple of days this is the daily charts then we could click over the week and then we could actually click over the last couple of months so if you want to go in throw in a couple of months hey it pulls back a little bit over the last couple of weeks you could throw in ten thousand dollars in or lose or you could just wait and be patient let's look at the monthly chart if you guys do want a day trade you can look at the daily chart or the hourly chart but me swing trader i like to find value in these companies let's pull all the way back to monthly and if you're looking at this and don't know what you're looking at, let me show you guys a very simple trick with a cool tool that I have on here to where you can add your indicators. And the indicator that we're going to add, we're going to hit these four boxes on the bottom right next to quarterly. We're going to hit those right there and then we're going to click indicator. After we click indicator under the main, you got a couple of options to choose from. Let's click on BOLL, which stands for Bollinger Bands. And there it goes. Now, if you're looking at the Bollinger Band, as you can tell, whenever it pulls all the way back to the bottom, which is the blue line, there's the medium line, which is pink, and then there's the top line, which is um, gold. That is the Bollinger Band. Now, as you guys can see, whenever it kind of pulls back and touches the blue line, it kind of goes up. So it went up one time right here, it shot up, it touched right here, shot back up, and it touched right here, shot back up. So that's just looking at the daily chart, but let's look at the monthly chart. Now, if you guys can see right now, if you're looking at AMD over the last couple of months, it had pulled all the way back down here to the blue line and touched around 50-ish, 55-ish dollars. That would have been a good value to buy AMD. Uh, even though AMD has pulled back from an all-time high of $164, it's around $113 right now. It's still at the top of the Bollinger Band, and that's not a good purchase for me. Even though I love AMD, I would not buy more shares when it's near the top of the Bollinger Band, so I have to sit back be patient and wait for amd to pull back now other than me having to check the charts every single day all i have to do is hit this bell icon at the bottom next to options click that i'm going to add and then if we go all the way down let's click on indicator so we're going to scroll down to indicators and we're going to click boll the bollinger band and then we're going to hit when it crosses below the lower band so right there when it pulls all the way back hit the lower band we're going to hit complete and now we have one set up on AMD. So when the price do pull back on the monthly chart to the bottom of the Bollinger Band for AMD, it's gonna send me an alert to my phone. Very cool thing about um, Moomoo. We're gonna go in, do some more research on why is it at the bottom, and that will be buying AMD at a great value. So let's look at take a look at one more. Let's look at Nvidia. Everyone loves Nvidia. So if you just came across ten thousand dollars, hey, I'm gonna throw ten thousand dollars into Nvidia. I heard they went up five hundred percent over the last year. Well. 
as you guys can see over the last month um nvidia is way at the top above the voyager band voyager band and it's not nowhere near time for me to invest the last time was for me to look at amd is when it pulled all the way back to around 92 ish no around 110 dollars it pulled all the way back to this blue voyager band and shot all the way back up so the next time it's going to be quite a little while before amd pulls back to either the medium middle one or all the way down to the blue one so amd is out of it i mean so nvidia is out of it and let's take a look if you guys do want to track the market let's take a look at vro it tracks the top 500 companies in america so if you do just want to take a look at the market here it goes it's still having a little pullback it pulled back and made a double top it's starting to pull back a little bit more but it's nowhere near the bottom of the blue bulleger band and it, as you guys can tell whenever it do reaches the bottom of the blue bulleger band it kind of do shoot back up went down right there shot back up so that uh historically speaking whenever you can find some companies that's undervalued that are rock solid companies that has a quite a pullback you could come into mumu um set up your bulleger band and then once you set it up, you make an alert by hitting this button right here. You want to hit add. You want to go to the indicator and hit um, touch the bottom bulleger band. So it'll be that simple, guys. Once you have everything set up on your top, let's say 10, 20 favorite stocks, you sit back and be patient before you just throw in $1,000, before you just throw in $10,000. You want to sit back and be patient to the, uh, these your favorite companies, your top 20 companies pull back to a comfortable price. You do a little bit more research on them and then that's when you invest your lump sum if you do not want a dollar cost average and that's it dreamers remember if you guys do want to um invest right now at any time you can dollar cost average but if you are looking to throw in a lump sum of money let me know right now are you buying a whole bunch of shares right now or are you waiting stockpiling your cash for the market to pull back and when it pulls back that's when we're gonna go in you know it's like pulling back a boat you just pull back pull back pull back and then when it's all the way caught back then you let go that boat whoo, that boat just gonna go flying for it and that's how the market's gonna be if we're buying at the bottom neck it just pull back like this and you only buy when it dips a little bit and let go that arrow gonna fall straight to the flow and hit you in your knee and we all know when arrows hit you in your knee it is over with hit you in your foot it's over with some of y'all gonna get the knee joke some of y'all not but yeah let me know down in the comment section do you like the dollar cost average are you buying stocks right now um are you stockpiling your cash right now or are you selling off some of your stocks because the market is kind of overvalued right now let me know if you're taking profit down in the description below and let me know what stocks are you buying but once again i would like to thank today's sponsor of this video boo moo Sign up with them. Click that link down in the description. Deposit $100. Use those free tools. Use those indicators. They have tons of indicators on there, guys. Tons of tools and features that you can use. That was just a quick one. That was just a quick one. I ain't even talking about the RSI. I ain't talking about the MACD. They got all that on there, guys. So if you don't want to miss out on cool tools like that, click the link down in the description. Sign up with Mumu. Thank you again, Mumu, for sponsoring this video. But yeah, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do not miss out on any future videos. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Do not miss out any, on any future videos because hitting that thumbs up button helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. I promise you guys that is the by far the easiest way that you can help this channel is by hitting subscribe and hitting that thumbs up button. It's free. <laughs> it's free. Almost. It's almost as easy as getting free stocks. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.